Yo guys, what is happening? Welcome back to Global Games and welcome to another video. Today we're here in the Minecraft world, Minecraft City world. No, this isn't a City Let's Play episode. This isn't a uh, how to build something. Well, this is a how to build something. It's just not how to build a, a building. It's how to build something even cooler, I'm thinking. That's right, we're going to jump right into things. Uh, it was suggested to me by Folded Tomato, actually, when we were playing Apex Legends the other day, that I should uh, build a functional elevator in Minecraft. I think he was wondering, actually, how to do it, and I was like, hmm, I'm not sure. I would like to try to uh, take on that task. So, here I am in the city uh, trying to take on that task. We'll see if this video even works. I have zero plans as to how I'm going to do this. I have some ideas, I think, actually, in my head. I'm gonna I'm gonna implement here. I don't know. We're gonna see if we can work this through it uh, together. See if we can figure out how to build a functional elevator for your buildings in Minecraft using a couple simple commands. And uh, let's see if we can manage it. So I've got a couple blocks out here. I'm just gonna build like a basic elevator shaft, I suppose. And I gotta figure out exactly how to do this. Maybe we'll do we'll do three by three. Mind you, the final design in this may have to be uh, slightly different. I'm not sure, but we're gonna start with a three by three design for right now. And when I say 3x3, three three, I'm going to say 3x3 three three on the inside, so 5x5 five five in terms of the walls on the outside in case you want to copy this. Now in the case here, I want to build one that's going to be um, probably maximum, I guess you could add a lot of floors to this, but it's going to be harder the more floors you have to make these things work. You might have different elevator shoots like they do in the bigger buildings anyway for like, you know, floors 1 to 20 in this elevator, floors, uh, you know, 1 to... 1 to 19, I guess, or whatever, yeah, 1 to 9, or no, 1 to 20, 1 to 20, 21 to 40, you know what I mean, like, you have to have the different elevator shoots, um, because, you know, different, there won't be enough room to place all the buttons in here, I don't think, because my goal is basically to have one button, uh, we'll use a stone button, and basically this will be like the elevator control room, and I'm going to see how many of these we can get going here, but basically, you would probably want maybe that many buttons, cool, and then you would have a sign that basically said floor, uh, we could have like floor one up there, oh, you know, actually let's do this differently, let's do floor one, and then let's do floor two, we're going to go three right here, we're going to go four, I said a three story building I think at the beginning, but we're going to actually make this maybe a little bit bigger, uh, we'll go five right here, just because I want to test this, we'll go six right there, and we'll see if that actually works. So let me go ahead and actually clone this guy up. This might be a little bit of command work, but we'll see. Um, and then we'll grab, did I grab the other coordinates? No, there we go. That's all the coordinates that we need. And then I will go ahead, or actually let me build that down one. Hold on. All right, I already messed it up. That's not good. All right, you know what? Actually, for the sake of this video, we're just going to do three stories just to keep things simple because I don't want to get too complicated here. Um, but basically, let's say these are our three stories. This would be our elevator. Uh, there's two versions of this that I'm thinking you could probably do. There's one where you could have a control center down here suggesting all the floors. So let's say there's six stories. You could have all six of them right here. And then each fl uh, floor just has like one button that is a return to the first floor. So even if you had to move to like the, the top floor, you could get into this elevator, press one button, it'd bring you back down here, and then you could select your floor to go to the top. The other option is that every single elevator has, um, and mind you, this would probably be one elevator in real life, but we're going to make it multiple different ones. Um, but the other option is that every elevator would have access to every single floor. So this one would be, you know, if we were on floor four right now, we'd have access to one, two, three, five, and six, but obviously we'd be on four, so there would be no uh, TP up to there. And TP is right. That's exactly how I decided to wire this thing. It's probably going to be the easiest. So again, we're just going with one, two, and three. This will test if, first of all, we can put two commands beside each other, which I believe we can, and then one down in the two spot, which means that we're going right here, here, and here. All right, so it should be pretty simple, actually. We're just going to go ahead and place three command blocks right here. The bottom one here is going to be TP at P, and then to the command or the coordinate of our first floor. The other one here is going to be TP at P, to the coordinate of our second floor, and this one I believe is a third, or I think I actually messed up the order there, but you get what I mean. Uh, TP at P. I think this was our first, second, and third, right? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We will uh, go ahead here and now grab those coordinates, I suppose, of the third floor, or the second floor, I should say. So if we just go right here, we're just going to write them down in chat. So seven, so I'll just put uh, second floor, um, whoops, spelled that wrong, and then we go negative seven, four, four, uh, 66, and 3151. Go up here to the third floor, and we'll write down uh, the third floor coordinates. Oh, you know what? What am I thinking? It's going to be the exact same, just the Y coordinate is going to change, of course. So that's actually really easy to do. We're just going to go 70 right there, and I'll put it over here to third, or third in. There we go, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> and then we'll go and grab the first floor as well, just so we have it, and we can use it here. This is going to be at level 62. All right, so we have the first in, the third in, and the second floor. Um, <laughs> so let's just go up here into the first floor right here. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to change this. Um, I'm just going to use one to start off with here, and I'm just going to use a copy of that. So uh, how I did that, by the way, is you just press, I think, Windows key and then R. Yeah, or whatever your select button is, so middle, middle mouse button, whatever it is. Uh, whoa. Okay, so we're just going to simply type in that coordinate right there. So this is the first floor. Be kind of uh, redundant to have a, a elevator button that goes to the first floor, but anyway. 
There we go. On the first floor, at least. That'd be really weird. Anyway, we'll do it anyway. Um, <laughs> the next one, I think, was 66, I want to say. But we will double check that right now. The second floor, 66. Cool. The third floor right here is actually going up to 70. And that is basically the extent of the wiring. Now, you'd probably want to put some doors on here or whatever. You know, elevator doors. And maybe do a little 3x3 three three piston door. I don't know. But uh, let's test this out. So first floor, we're on the first floor. And we're here. Cool. Uh, so if we want to go up to the second floor, there we go. On the second floor. Just like that. And if we want to go up to the third floor, oh, that, that that button doesn't work, right? I forgot. I didn't wire any of those. Let's try from the first floor up to the third floor. Just like that, we're up to the top. Okay, so that's pretty cool, actually. That works pretty well. So basically how you would do this now to copy this is we just need to copy this exact pattern. So I'm going to put first right here. That's second, actually. What am I doing? Uh, let me clear up my inventory a little bit. All right, so first right there, second right there, and third right there. So if we're wiring this... Um, our block is right there, which means our first needs to go where our second needs to go there. Our first needs to go there and our third needs to go there. Exact same deal right here. Our second needs to go there, first and third. All right, so this is the version where now you can access every floor from anything. So if I go second story, I'm now on the second story. Let me get rid of these uh, doors actually so I can just look out very easily. If I want to go to the third, I'm back up to the third. If I wanted to go to the first, I am now on the first. And that's it. We're pretty much done. That is literally how you do it. That actually was not as challenging as I thought. Um, there's the elevator all done. The other option that I explained earlier was that you could just have one central button that just brought you back down to floor one. So basically, it'd be like we got rid of all these buttons and we just had this button in here. Like, you know, we got rid of all these got rid of all the signs and we just had option to go down to floor one we could pick our floor so let's say we wanted to go to two and then on floor two we just oh we already went to two they all look the same um <laughs> and then on floor two we only had the option to go down to one again so imagine all these being gone and we could only go to floor one pick our floor we pick three now we can get, go back down to one. So this would be a very easier or easy way to wire it. It'd be much easier to wire it. <laughs> um, yeah. So then you could always just have one button going back down and then your control panel at the bottom. But you could do multiple controls from each floor. Depends on how many you got. But I'm guessing you could fit three right there and then maybe another, um, you know, two, four, um, let's call it eight right there. You could have a whole bunch of, uh, of command blocks here. Um, the only other thing I can think about is obviously get rid of the middle here and not have signs and then s label it some other how I'm not or some other way. I'm not sure how you do that. But anyway, uh, pretty cool, though. Actually, that works pretty well. So I'm very happy with how that turned out. I feel like that was a, a big success. So again, third floor, second floor, first floor. Um, all works really cool. Uh, that's awesome. So there you go. That's how you would use that in, you know, building like this. You build this inside of it and you are good to go. So that's eight plus six in total. In case you're wondering, 14 with this design. Plus, you might be able to get away with a few more if you get rid of some signs on the inside. So there we go. That's not bad at all. All right, so I'll leave it there. I'm really happy with how this build turned out. If you guys did enjoy the video, I would really appreciate it. If you go down below, leave a like on the video, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys all in the next one.